Look at his vitamins. <laughs> I say low all the time. Oh boy, the speed is so nuts. What's up guys, it's Moshman, I'm back on Atlas. And oh boy am I addicted to this game. I'm so in love with this game right now. And talking of in love, here's my bear. And I've called him Barry now. He was called Cuddles, I didn't like it. Uh, Barry the bear seems cool. Look at his face, he looks so cool. Look at him. I've had a bit of a move round in the base. I'll show you that in a minute. Hope you can remember uh, what it looked like if you see the last episode. Uh, if you're new to the channel, guys, don't forget to smash that subscribe button uh, if you enjoy the content, that is. Uh, smash the bell to get notifications when I put new videos up. And maybe if I go live, uh, I'm thinking about doing a, a YouTube live stream at some point soon. And obviously, if you like the video, guys, really important. If you do enjoy it, smash that like button. It really helped my videos move up the search results more. Back to the matter in hand, I'm having a move around. Uh, I've been out on Barry doing some fibre farming and he is a beast at farming fibre. It's crazy how good the bears are. On our server we haven't got insane rates, obviously we do have increased rates, but it's not like a massive increase, it's just a little increase. I think it's like plus six, uh, times six, whatever you want to call it. So it's not nothing drastic, but he farms fibre like nobody's business. It is absolute madness how much fibre he farms in a short period of time, but anyway. Uh, the reason I need resources is because I've had a massive move around. This is all newly built uh, for my new large dockyard that I've moved here. This was where my boats were moored up, but uh, I've run out of room. I've only got the two boats. I want two more boats. Uh, one of them is going to be basically a big hauler. Uh, just going to fill it with large weighted sails to increase its weight and see what maximum capacity weight we can get on a brigantine. And also, I want to build a speed tuner for exploration, which is the carcass you can see in the other boat yard over here. Let's run over here. Pow. And uh, this has actually moved slightly. This was here anyway, but I've moved it across slightly and modified my deck, which actually looks pretty cool now. I like it. Got a ramp down here. I'm probably going to build a nice big crop area or something in this bit here, I think. i got the storm cooler parked in the middle of the two there, and I'm going to build over this side a new mooring area for my ships. Obviously, the wind vipers over here at the minute. I was going to start this video once I'd finished what I'm doing, but uh, I decided I would start it now so I can show you guys this rock. It's a lovely rock, isn't it? No, just kidding. Uh, oh no, I really do want to show you the rock, but because I'm going to build a maybe another little hut up there or something but I want to build the um, mooring area to come off of that rock so I'm going to clear all them trees and I'm just going to see what I can build there I'm going to mesh the foundations around it and see what we end up with and then build out into the water there the uh, jetties and stuff like that to build a mooring area hopefully enough to put three or four boats there and I'll probably keep my pride and joy at the minute the uh, storm cooler where she's parked just there in the middle of my house oh boy and uh, also I made a cargo cart for my horse which is now called Scania because I'm a lorry driver it's got a whopping one horsepower and it pulls nothing the cargo cart does absolutely nothing it's a cargo cart doesn't carry cargo all you can put on it is a water barrel or you can put on it a swivel gun or a medium cannon but you can't actually haul a load of stuff around now my horse actually has a thousand weight on her anyway. That has not been increased by that saddle at all. It's done nothing. Um, I was hoping at the very, very least the cargo cart was going to reduce the uh, weight of things you put on it. Uh, on Ark, for example, a Dodicarus can carry a load more stone than normal because it has reduced weight on stone. I was hoping that with the cart that was going to be the same case and it was going to reduce the weight of everything you put on your horse. But it doesn't. But it looks cool, so that's kind of good, whatever. And um, I've just been building a taming pen out here. I've just got uh, the gate put on. Pow. Pow. Oh, that snapped straight in. I can't believe that. Uh, let's get the gate in. Boom. And just stick some of these on. Oh, these are really annoying. I don't know why if it, or if it's just me, but for me to get the uh, ramps to snap or stairs or whatever, I have to do this. Boom. 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 And then quickly run up for that one uh hey what okay why didn't that work pow pow boom boom can i get this one before it why is that happening what the fuck normally that works i'm about to go and make another roof i've run out because i kept demolishing them by accident 
Okay, so that's really weird. I don't know why. If I leave that one there, it seems to work. I've not had that issue before. Normally, I can do exactly what I was trying to do, and it and it ends up really nice and perfect. And I can't do this on that side because otherwise, uh, the elephant, which is what I'm trying to pull into here, will probably not fit in. So I'll just have to try and pull it over this side. And the elephant I was going to tame is over here. I don't know what level it is. Oh, she's quite far away now. Uh, oh, it's a level 4 male. So I've built this taming pen and uh, I think the elephant might be stuck over there. But I'm going to try and shoot him anyway and see if he'll come over here. Um, they normally eat wheat grass or wheat of some sort. Um, I haven't got any, but I have got some cocoa and apparently they eat that as well. So hopefully that's going to be alright. But either way, let's see. How... Do you reckon I can eat that from here? That's quite far away, isn't it? That's going to be a big drop on that, I think. Nope. I wish I could see where that was going. Do you reckon that's reaching? I can't tell. Should we go really high? That is real far away. No, alright, let's try one more. I think that's hit it and it not, not done anything. Let's go over and have a look what's going on. Oh, was I eating that rock? Oh no, look! Oh, look at that! It was hitting him, look. Look at that. Bug that. Let me see if I can actually... Oh shit, he's out. Oh my god, he's so quick. Use the tree, serpentine. The grass is too long, I can't see. Oh. Gotta wait till the last minute and... Oh. Wait, what? Oh no, it damages that stuff. Okay, he's not fed in, but I don't know what, what's going on there. He's stuck on something. That should be enough, maybe. Yes. Got him. Bugged out, but we got him. Oh, he's in there now, I think. How do I feed him? Oh, there we go. This is a bit dodgy. I'm so stuck in here if he decides to get angry with me. Do you know what? I don't think he can get out of that door, can he? I won't do it, just in case. But I am actually trapped. Oh, I'll run out of that one. That's okay. I thought of everything when I built this trap, see? And then can I do this with it? Oh, he's actually stuck against the uh, ceiling tile. Look. How low has he got me? Will that then? Oh yeah, that'll do it. Sweet. Oh, I'm pleasantly surprised by how this is going. Yay! Nelly, obviously. I'm so bad with names. If you ever got a good name suggestion, just leave it in the comments below and I'll probably change it if I like the name. Because um, I'm so bad at names. We've got Nelly the Elephant, why not? Uh, I wonder if she fits through this door. I don't think she does. No, okay, they, they've got to have the uh, large gates then. Oh god, my old man. Look at his vitamins! <laughs> They're so low all the time. If you look down, just down here somewhere, you can see I'm full. I can't eat anything. And uh, his vitamins are super low. And that is to do with old age. I keep seeing people saying they're not being affected by the old age. It definitely does affect your character big time. Let's get a saddle made then. Oh boy, there we go. Oh, look at that. It looks sick. Oh, yeah. She looks awesome. That saddle looks well cool. I love it. That was so easy. I can't believe how easy that was to get her. Oh, yeah. Good. Well, now I've got um, Nelly tamed, I'll crack on and get my resources gathered and uh, see what I can do with that rock and see if I can get some sort of docks built for my boats. Hopefully get a new schooner built as well. They're only cheap, so it shouldn't take too long. Especially now I've got Nelly and we've got Barry the Bear getting fibre for us, old boy. Um, should be pretty cool. I'm going to have to find a rhino now because we'll have an absolute beast of a farming pack then. So that's what I've got so far. I've run out of resources and everything and uh, that has taken me so long. Um, I actually covered that entire rock and then deleted everything because I didn't like the way it turned out. So I'll just give you a quick look at what we've got so far. Uh, I was going to fill all this in but I kind of want the trees to grow back so I'm waiting to see whether they come back or not before I do anything. If they all come back I'm going to leave it like this is now. Uh, got the start of where the um, like jetty's going to be, and I'm going to have them coming off at an angle like this, like the wind viper is. Um, hopefully, get 
one jetty up this way, up this side of the Wind Viper, then one berth next to it, and then one on the end for the Storm Cooler or another brig if I build one. But this is um, the base of what's going to be the harbour office, old oh boy. Just put a door there just for decoration, I don't going to use that for anything. Uh, but this is the top of it, I'm going to build it up on here. I might build it into a tower, I think, it'd be kind of cool. But yeah, I'm going to leave that for now and uh, carry on with that another day. Uh, once I use all the resources I had, uh, I've been and got an, another load, and I've built everything I need to make the schooner now, um, apart from the bits we're going to need to build the cabin. I thought we'll stick this together, why not? So I'm only going to put the one deck in, I'm going to put the bottom deck in, and uh, see what we can do with just having the bottom deck. I think that'd be kind of cool, it's going to be like a giant bathtub. Let's get the gun ports on. Bang, 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 bang. Pow, 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 pow. It is so satisfying building the ships. Oh, how do I keep falling off this stuff all the time? Anyway, like I was saying, it's so satisfying putting these ships together. Pow, oh boy. Pow, 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 pow. Nailed it, that's all them done. Oh, you can do that with these. Okay, that's cool. I mean, yeah, that looks cool there. Let's put that one there. Oh, that looks actually perfect there. Let's stick it there, I think. Yeah, that looks good there. Boom. Right, now we've got to build a cabin of some sort. Oh boy, looking good in red. I weren't sure about the uh, colours, but it's actually kind of grown on me. It does look pretty smart, I think. But this is going to be a speed schooner, so as you can see, there's nothing in it. Um, I've opted to have just the bottom deck um, to save weight and not have two decks. And then um, I wanted to build something a bit different for the, the steering platform or cabin type area. But when you're trying to save weight on this, there's not really much you can do. There's only so many things you can do. So yeah, it kind of looks like all the other speed schooners you'll probably see. Once I've levelled it up and stacked out the uh, weight stat on it, I'll get rid of the cannons probably, and then I might enclose this and make some sort of little cabin, but I am going to leave it like this. I kind of like it, just this big giant bathtub. It's like, an, like a big deep trading ship or something. I think that's what I'll do. I'll leave it like this for now anyway. I got this idea from Mystic at Midnight Gaming. I've mentioned him a few times in the series. He's got some really good videos. Yeah, I can see him build a speed tuner, and I want one, so here we go. We've got one. I've said it a couple of times now. We've had our server increase massively. It's now 5x5 five five and I've got a lot more exploring to do. And my guy is so old, he's a hundred years old and um, I want to find the fountain of youth. And with this ship hopefully I can zoom around and check out all the uh, power nodes and see if the um, fountain of youth spawned in their cave. Oh yeah, also I got a new monkey. My old one Lima got mullered by a lion. And uh, yeah, so we've now got Irwin, Irwin the monkey, because I've been watching loads of Steve Irwin documentaries recently, so uh, he's called Irwin after Steve Irwin, oh boy. They actually give you a health regen buff, so they're really cool for that. And I've said before on some of the treasure hunting videos I've done, I'm convinced the reason why a couple of them have been easier than I thought they were going to be is because of the monkey blinding soldiers of the damned, so uh, yeah, they're really cool. And plus, it's a cool little pet on your shoulder, why wouldn't you want one? So yeah, that's it. Just got to crew it up and obviously launch it and name it and then we can go exploring, get some levels on it and uh, also try the run and gun tactic with the cannons on some SOTDs. I've got some crew on here. We've got the cannonballs and everything in the ammo box. Got some resources, got some armour and stuff in here. Just got the resources if I need any repairs. I think we're ready to launch. How? I hate that bit when it does that. I always think it's about to bust up. That'll do, the wind rider. So I couldn't get these on the sails a minute ago. I'm hoping it's just because it weren't launched. Can't seem to get these guys to man the sails. What's going on down there? Why the hell's my bear in the water? I don't know what's going on there, that's weird. Oh, you must have come off the storm cooler. Oh, have I accidentally called them all off of here? Oh, please tell me these guys are still down there. Where's all my crew? What the hell? Oh man. <laughs> I don't know why they've all done that. And my bear was over it, that's weird. I'm surprised they ain't all dead. Alright, I think that's all of them safe now. Alright, so why can't I get these guys to man the sails? Oh, is that the problem with having that bottom deck? Oh no. 
Ah, uh, that's annoying. I reckon that's what it is. So, uh, if I delete this deck, that's probably all going to fall down on it. Let me try something first. See if this to work. What if I go like that? Then like that. Will one of you go on here? No. Oh no, I'm going to have to put another deck in. Right, I'm playing another deck. Oh man, this is so frustrating. Thing. No, he still can't do it. So, I'm going to have to... So, if I delete this... Oh! Right, what if you do this then? No! Oh my god, why is it called them all over here? I've lost two crewmen now. Oh, there's one, so there's one missing. Oh, okay, now she's gone on there. Oh no, have I been a massive idiot? Oh, I wonder if I could have done that before then and they would have gone up there. Oh, you know what? Because I want to know, I'm going to see if I can uh, take this back down without destroying my gun deck. Right, okay, I managed to take that all down without dropping my gun deck. So let's see, if I take her off here, no large. Oh, after all of that! Oh no, all I had to do was use the actual option. Okay, that's weird. But if you tell them to do it, they can't do it. So I just need to find some ships to the dam, I guess. This ship is so quick already. Um, I don't think it's quite its maximum speed yet. It looks really cool. I actually like the look of it. I weren't sure when I painted it. I actually think it looks pretty cool. But if you're new to the channel, guys, don't forget to smash that subscribe button for me. Obviously, I'm still a growing channel. Oh, there's a ship of the damned. And don't forget to uh, smash that like button as well if you're enjoying the video. Uh, I need to do some more treasure hunting as well, so I'm probably going to get back on Twitch soon. I'm feeling a lot better now, so I think I can probably manage it. So head over to Twitch if you've got a Twitch account. Smash follow on Moshman Gaming if you want to help me out on my road to affiliate. That'd be really cool. Let's see if we can engage this one. What level is it, actually? I should probably have a look. Level 10. All right, let's have a go at level 10. Why not? Let's go. Oh boy, are we going to get it? Oh, we are hitting it. I'm just too far away to see the uh, damage coming up. Oh no, that one got me. Why is that crew member uh, not on his cannon? She keeps coming off. Um, I'm going to have to move them cannons around, I think, by the look of it. Yeah! Oh, that was great! This is an awesome little ship, man. It's a great little tactic. I'm going to have to move them um, cannons, though. That, that middle one keeps getting unmanned for some reason. I think they're too close. I'm going to have to make some new ones and spread them out a bit more. I hope that's all it is. 11 levels off a of level 10. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's a blueprint for a journeyman large weighted sail, which is kind of handy. I want to make a brigantine hauler, basically, and uh, that's what I was going to stick on it, large weight sail, so that's good. Sweet. It's actually pretty good. There's two level threes here. Let's see if we can get these to chase me. I'm just going to charge it. Why not? Is that going to get him? Oh, the middle one keeps on manning again. Oh boy, the speed is so nuts with this boat. Come on, has that got him? Absolutely smashed him. If you just stuck three um, small speed sails on this thing, it'd be an absolute beast, because you can just take off as it shoots and then stop again and you'd never get hit, I bet. I've got five levels off that, it was a level three. It's 
pretty good. I hope you've enjoyed it guys and don't forget if you have enjoyed it smash that thumbs up button it really helped me out get my video moving up the search results a bit more still a growing channel obviously so um really help me out if you do that if you're new to the channel obviously smash subscribe as well why not i put up videos weekly so don't forget to smash the bell as well so you don't miss out on them and i'm hoping to do some uh, live streams on youtube soon but i do have a twitch channel moshman gaming on twitch go give me a follow on that if you've got a twitch account help me on my road to affiliate but i am thinking about doing some uh, streams on youtube soon so like i said don't forget to hit that notification bell anyway guys thanks for watching really hope you've enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next one